Hey guys, Moan Pabaya here and today I'm going to talk about the one thing that rich people buy that poor people don't. Is that something you do or not? That's probably one of the biggest things that differentiate if you're poor or rich. So let's get to it. So what is that one thing that rich people buy and other people don't? Is it they go and buy clothes or watches or rent private jets or rent amazing cars or buy those amazing cars or, or live in amazing villas and and bring in photographers and videographers to make their Instagram account look the best. Or maybe they just go out there and travel all the time and, and live in luxury and fly first class and, and all that stuff and all that cool, interesting stuff. Like what is that one thing that rich people buy that poor people don't? Uh, that's the question here, right? And I think it all comes down to, so first of all, other people might tell you, and especially nowadays when you see it's all, all on Instagram, you see like those rich people who, uh, I don't know, make photos with tigers and you think like, oh, that's, that's probably what you should do. You should rent a tiger and, and get nice photos with him and upload it to your Instagram and make yourself look rich and cool. And that's what made him probably rich, this guy who, who got himself a tiger. That's probably what made him rich, right? Um, and, and everyone out there will tell you, hey, if you want to be rich, go and fly that private jet. And nowadays, it's so easy to fly, to fly private. I mean, you can rent those jets for pretty cheap prices and make yourself photos for the rest of the years. And I know many people out there in the Instagram space who literally just rent themselves a private jet and then it makes themselves look cool and they have photos for the rest of the year. They even change their shirts and they look really, really cool and that you think they're rich and you think, oh, this is what I need to do with my money. As soon as I make some money, I need to go out there and rent, rent a private jet, bring the tiger with me and make nice photos for the rest of the year um, for, for my Instagram account. So I will look rich. So I will then maybe even be rich because I have the tiger and jet right now. And uh, I guess it, it's so easy to leave, to think that that's what the rich people are doing. And I'm here to tell you that this is so not true. And I mean, th there are so many, I guess, misconceptions about this space right now because now everyone make their life look like it's more cool than it is because everyone out there nowadays try to make their life look more cool than it actually is because all you see on instagram are kind of like the highlights of your life or even on youtube you see many videos that are really edited all the time with drones all over the place and many times you can think this is what you need to do to be rich because this guy is probably rich and he's getting his drones and tigers and private jets. And this is so, guys, this is the opposite from the truth. And maybe some people out there, again, don't get me wrong, you can fly those jets, you can get those cars, you can live in amazing places and, and fly jet, again, first class and jet and, and wear nice clothes and even bring photographers to, to make your life look even cooler. It's all good. The question is, do you actually think that the richest people out there got there by doing those things? So I'm here to tell you the way that rich people are getting rich. And again, making $100 million doesn't make you rich. It doesn't make you wealthy and financially free. Like, you know, many stories out there, people won the lottery and lost it after one or two years. Even people like Mike Tyson, who made hundreds of millions in his career, got to himself to a point where he's bankrupt. And the reason for that it's because people like that, the first thing that they're doing is going out there and buy the tigers and, and rent those jets and, and buy crazy things that are liabilities and not assets. That's the biggest difference. Wealthy people, the richest people that I know, spend literally 90% of every dollar that comes into their account into buying assets that produce in cash flow. And then those assets are producing that cash flow no matter what, basically on a passive income. And they're bringing in money no matter what. But remember, every dollar that comes in, you spend most of it on assets That's pro that produce you passive income. And then with that money, you can do whatever you want. But don't spend, like let's say you start a business and you make a few thousand dollars, don't spend it on renting a jet just so you look cool. It makes no sense. You're not building yourself you're not building any wealth to yourself. You're just acting rich. That's what you are, but you're not really wealthy. Now, if you want a Ferrari, if you want the jet and all that, it's all good. But go first, use the money that you earn to buy assets, that produce cash flow to buy those, to, to get those Ferraris. And to get a Ferrari nowadays, 
if you lease it for or rent it for a few thousand a month, which I think it's a much smarter decision. I don't care how much money you have. You can go out there, buy an asset, buy something like real estate or a business and take the money that you're taking from that asset, from the real estate or from the business. And with that, bring yourself the, the Ferrari or the villa that you want or whatever. That's the way to really grow things. And the more you continue to do it again and again and again, you'll get to a point where the assets that you have produce you enough cash flow to live however you want. And then you're really wealthy, financially free. And that's the goal in the end of the day, in my opinion. The goal isn't to make a one-time high amount and spend it all over the place so then tomorrow you'll be broke again. That's not the goal. It's not going to make you financially free. It's just going to make you look rich. And that's what most of the people out there are doing nowadays on Instagram. And it, it makes me sick literally sometimes to see that the fact that they do whatever it can to make themselves look rich, uh, but then in the end of the day, they're not. And I know many of those people, uh, literally, personally, they send me messages and they ask me on things, but then I ask them, hey, do you have some capital to invest in that in that investment or business? And they're like, no, um, I don't. I, I need to go and do the, the next product launch or whatever, so I have some capital because I spent all of that money on other things. So I just want to open your eyes. Again, go and buy assets. I think you can buy real estate, which is a great investment, but then... Real estate, you can buy basically the, the best assets that I like, at least personally, is buying real estate and it's to buy businesses. I like businesses much more just because the upside can be tremendous compared to, business, to real estate. There's only so much you can grow real estate, but with business, you can double and triple that business literally within a year or two. That's why I really like businesses. And again, again you can start businesses from scratch, but I'm here to show you that you can actually buy an existing profitable business or even if you have an existing business, your best way to grow isn't by doing more organic sales, but it is to go and buy other businesses and buy your competitors and buy complementary businesses. And that's what I'm here to show you. So if you want to learn more about that, go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk, fill your details there, and we will basically work with you to figure out if the space of buying businesses and growing back acquisitions is for you. If it is, we'll show you how. If not, we're happy to send it to someone else who can help you. So we just want to help you achieve the outcome you want and, and I guess open your eyes to what's possible. So if you want to do that, go there and see the links in the description below. Join our groups on Facebook and I guess, yeah, like, comment this video, comment on this video, hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos and let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think that it's better to look rich in front of other people on Instagram or you think that it's a much smarter move to go and buy assets and really get to a point where you're wealthy and you don't really give a shit on what other people think of you, but you know internally that you have all the money in the world to do whatever you want and that money is going to come every month again and again and again because you have those assets that produce that cash flow to you. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.